Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, it's great to see you all again. Thanks for joining John and I on our weekly vlog. And uh, what shall we talk about today, John? Well, Art, here's the topic for the day, and I think it's aimed at our younger brethren, those people who are turning 50, about to turn 50, just turned 50. You know, we kind of use age 50 as the generic beginning of your act two. Sure. Second half of your life. Now, you're going to be, li be living to 100. So your act two started at 50. Beyond. I remember, I have a 25-year rolling plan. Well, then maybe you shouldn't have started your act two till 60. I don't know. Well, I used to have my, a 30-year rolling plan. It's now 25. <laughs> I guess my point is that most of us are still in our act one at 50, sure. and we're too busy, we're too distracted to think about act two. So th you, you're real good at listing some of the things that are going to happen to you in act two. Sure. Well, right? I, I, As you I, age. Yeah, obvi obviously what's going to happen is <clears throat> that at some point, uh, uh, most people are no longer going to have a regular income from uh, a job. Uh, right, so at some time. At, at yeah. some point. So they're either going to go on, for most people, Social Security, somewhere between 62 and 70 and a half. Right. Uh, they're no longer going to have an income. They're no longer going to have, uh, let's say, medical insurance from work. So they're going to have to arrange for that. And, and Medicare itself uh, lacks a lot of things. We're going to have to think about supplements. Uh, right. And also, they're going to have to start drawing down on uh, if if they paid enough attention to putting together money in our IRAs. And quite frankly, if you're 50 and you haven't, there's still plenty of time to do it. So you're right, John. Um, people who are uh, in our uh, world, our audience uh, of 50 and above, living longer, healthier lives, uh, even if they don't do anything other than retire at some point, uh, right. their lives are going to change anyway. So that they're already, they should be preparing for their, their act to uh, environment, whether or not they have any plans of starting new stuff. You're right. Yeah. And, and, and the problem is, I think the reason it's hard to, it's hard to accept the fact that 50, that you're, you're in your act, your second half of your life, you're in your act two. The reason is because most people are working until 60, 65 and longer. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have friends who are over 70 or are still working or started a new business or something right. like that. So not only do you have your act one continuing, right? But you also got your kids uh, getting out of school. You've also got uh, uh, refinancing of houses and mortgages. Maybe you're downsizing. All of these and things aging are parents that you may now have school. to take care of aging parents who never used to live that long because they're living longer as well. <laughs> right. Exactly. So I think there's a big overlap for almost everybody between your act one, which theoretically ends somewhere, you know, when when you stop working. Right. right. And when you, quote, retire. And your act two, which begins at 50. Why does act two begin at 50? Well, because at 50, you still have enough time. First of all, it, it is the second half of your life. If Even if you're lucky enough to live to 100, your act two begins at 50. But it, it's also a, a, enough time to plan for your, quote, retirement act two. Right. And that is, you know, do you have enough money in your IRA? Uh, have you maxed out your Social Security um, is there things you can be doing to prepare for those days when you are not, when you don't have an income? Uh, things like getting healthy at 50. It's not that hard to get healthy again at 50. It's a lot harder to get healthy at 70, right. you know, or 65. Also to be thinking so about a retirement uh, uh, living uh, situation, if you're <clears throat> living in a very high tax area, you might consider, and a lot of people do going to, uh, some okay. of the uh, non-taxable, in income taxable Southwest and sure. uh, uh, Southeast in Florida, for instance, things like that. Sure. So finances, finances are a huge, uh, a huge consideration for Act Two. Right. Uh, even though, in at fifty years old, fifty and sixty years old, you you might still be paying for college. Right. 
you've got to you've got to make plans for the days when you don't have an income, you know, and nobody can live on Social Security. So so so, so the Act Two generation, uh, another sort of uh, branding that we give to uh, our audience, uh, right. uh, is uh, is a timeless because it doesn't matter whether this we we didn't think of this 50 years ago. But even 50 years from now, there will be this whole new Act Two generation at its time, uh, where they're probably even going to be living longer. Uh, yes. That uh, right now, uh, 80s and 90s are not uh, beyond the grasp of many people, but right. uh, uh, our grandchildren probably, uh, you know, without intervening issues, uh, should uh, uh, e easily make it to 100, given the medical I would advances. Think so. Yeah. I would think so. I can remember, um, I don't know, 20, 30 years ago when, uh, who is the very heavy set weatherman on the Today Show? Yeah, Willard Scott. <laughs> Thank you. He would do, um, he would do somebody turned 100. And, you know, there was like two a week. Well, now they've stopped that because so many people are turning 100. Right. They can't come possibly. Oh, you know what? Let's get, let's get uh, Smuckers uh, a shout out. A sm Schmuckers. Smuckers turning a hundred, yeah. yeah. All right, listen, I'm I, that's it for my smucker today. Okay, so but uh, I I, th I I think we all need to um, we need to look back. Those of us that are over seventy, look back and caution those people that are just entering their act two, and remind them that uh, even though your act one is going to continue until you're sixty five or seventy, whatever that is. Mm. Uh, you've really got to start thinking like you're in your act two, thinking and acting and preparing for the day when act two becomes more actively real. You know. Yeah, and it goes back. It goes back to uh, uh, one of the founding principles that you and I had of uh, putting together celebrating act two, which is that we've already traveled this bumpy road of uh, things like. Uh, uh, signing up for Medicare and supplements. Who knew? Right. Uh, oh, you just get Medicare and take care. No, it doesn't take care of everything. And yeah. uh, uh, you have the things that you did really uh, smart about how you converted some IRAs to different versions of them and uh, yep. and, and saved a ton of money uh, uh, as you begin to draw down on those. So sure. there are a lot of things. Mo moving that, your money. Yeah, hmm. basically moving your money around to save some taxes in retirement because you know, it it hurts to pay taxes at any age, right? But it hurts a lot more when you're over sixty-five, right? So, so uh, there's a lot that you can control, and make yep. your life easier and happier as you're living <clears throat> longer lives to be able to do things like uh, travel or even take up uh, new things like uh, a lot of uh, people in Iraq to take up uh, artistic things like sculpting and and and, sure. and, and painting, and do some really amazing stuff when they didn't think they had any talent all their life, but they get to try these things. And yep. uh, so will most of you, if you want to, and taking that burden off of the planning is, yeah. okay, so I don't care if you're 35, you're, you're, you're gonna have an act too. Unless, yeah. unless you and your best friend pull a Thelma and Louise, you're gonna, you're gonna have a, a, an act too. So yeah. uh, prepare for it and, and, and uh, Maybe you don't have to, you'll find your new bumps in the road that you'll share with uh, your younglings. Uh, yeah. uh, but uh, we'll share ours, which was uh, earlier planning, better. Yep. Yep. And we, we want everybody to have a great act too. Yep. So uh, visit our website, visit our YouTube channel, and uh, hopefully you'll find lots of stuff to help you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.